Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it is Friday, May 17th, the wubby body mind remains That's child true. soul. Today we're going to be discussing that's true. The angelic initiative. I need a I need a set of real goddamn cans, and I'm not just talking about Jamie's. Oh. Oh. Welcome, guys. How y'all doing? It's been a minute. I'm here. I got bad heartburn. Holy shit. This video you're about to watch, I'm 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 not really sure the direction to take it. What I am gonna do to start is to just simply explain what happened and how we ended up at this point. Or about a month ago, I reached out to Jamie and Lynn of the Angelic Initiative via email. And the original style of the video was intended to be kind of documentary-esque. For the most part, I was just gonna let them talk. There wasn't really gonna be much commentary. So my video was set to release first on May 12th, Sunday, May 12th. And they said, all right, the first day we could even post would be the 13th. Then this happened. What's this you ask? I uh, had an accident with a piece of glass, took a large chunk out of my thumb, I had to get stitches. I spent a good portion of an editing day uh, in the hospital. Any kind of movement of this hand at all would stretch the skin and cause pain. Long story short, I said, okay, hey, we need to push the video back to our next posting date, which again would be a Sunday. The following so far, we said we're gonna push it back a week and if they could hold off just one week as well. Not a, not a ridiculous request, you know, judging how I got my goddamn thumb torn off. Jamie over here, my sweet, that's true Jamie, wanted some of our footage. We're trying to work in a friendly collaboration with your team. We've been courteously holding off posting episodes with Wubby at Dennis's request. If you can't explain it in a way that makes sense to me, we're gonna go ahead and post our first Wubby episode in the morning. So basically now what she's saying is, we have our videos ready to go. We're gonna post this unless you give us the footage. The subject of the email is deadlines. I love that they're now setting deadlines on my video. I flew Four people across the United States filmed everything, and now they're putting a deadline on my video. Keep in mind, I had no problem with their, them posting the entirety of it. I'm not hiding anything. I wasn't gonna edit this to manipulate them in any way. I want them to post the unedited footage, but it ruins a lot of the hype when they release all the footage nearly 10 days before my video was gonna come out. Again, we weren't okay with this. We felt that this was complete bullshit. They're, this is, I mean, flat out, this is just bullying us at this point. If he gets the footage of us by 5 p.m., we'll continue to give him the courtesy of first posting. We would have the right of first posting. We sent her the raw footage, and we even said this. We said, if we post first, I will send you my video fully edited for you to review and sign off on. Just so you know, we're not trying to manipulate you in any way. Jamie had a problem with that. Of course she fucking did. Now here's where she starts getting frustrated. She's saying, we already rearranged our posting schedule twice last week to accommodate Dennis's changing schedule. What? We, we allocated one week after filming with you. One week to edit this video. And we simply asked for a week extension due to an injury. If Dennis can get me the footage of the other two cameras before the end of the day, I'll just the posting schedule so he can post first this Sunday. Th this is where shit gets crazy. We will not wait beyond then. So she's basically saying, we're not gonna give you the time you're asking for. I know that you agreed to let us review the video even though you don't have to, all that. But uh, fuck you, Wubby. Uh, we're gonna post this shit anyway. But here's the theory that I've heard. Well, Wubby, they, they saw you were disrespectful when you were filming and now they don't wanna work with you. So they're saying, fuck off. Let me read you this. We understand that Dennis is the comedy business and he'll be poking fun at us in the video. We've always understood that. As long as he's not lying, that's okay. Well, Jamie. I got some really fucking bad news for you, sweetheart. You're the liar. And I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna go through all these fucking emails until you realize that. You didn't see that one coming through the grass, did you? I'm gonna go through all this shit. They were, they knew goddamn well why we were coming. We were coming there to have a good time, poke fun, while keeping it somewhat respectful, okay? I'm about to hit you with some honest dick. We did this and many other things because it's the right thing to do. And given that we humans kill, are killing the planet, here she goes, see, this is it. That You'll see this in the video, she's, she's gone now. Now that she's talking about angel shit and, and the earth and the planet, you can't get her back. You will see these emails just digre just go into these schizophrenic tangents. Just get ready for them, okay? Because it's going to happen. We're actually trying to make a difference for the world in this crisis time. Is that funny? No. Nobody's laughing at that aspect of these videos. You lack self-awareness. I'm sorry I'm going in on you, but I'm fucking pissed. This was a lot of hard work that you tried to snatch from us. You really did. And you're going to try to smear my team and myself publicly we'll get to that I tried Jamie Jamie and Lynn I tried to not to not go in on you guys you should see the first cut of my video I cut out a lot and I kept my mouth shut but I'm not gonna now because <laughs> you couldn't it isn't likely that your team will get another chance to work with Archangel Gabriel in this lifetime that's great pretending that Gabriel doesn't exist doesn't make him go away 
What are you talking about? Lady, I asked for a week because I hurt my thumb. Actually, what are you talking about, Jamie? I have no clue. I know we said the video, we'd have the video out this week. We're gonna need a week extension if that's cool with you guys. You're fucking with shit, Wubby. You can't control. I'm sitting here like, what? I. So, so no, I mean, I will post all these publicly. So if you think I'm missing something, I will, you will have the right to read them. N I will blur any, uh, doxing information. Not that I have to, but I'm going to out of respect for them. So I, again, I attached the video. I said, Hey, listen, here it is. I also want to make sure it's clear. Our posting date is the 19th. It was originally the 12th, but it had been adjusted to the 19th due to my injury. You read through these and they're just on a different plane. We post every two days. We will post on schedule. Immediately, doesn't give a fuck what I just said. Dennis has four days to get his video uploaded before then. Your window of opportunity to post ends on Tuesday. She just ignores what we're saying. Doesn't give a fuck. We have, okay, this is, this is one of my favorite lines that Jamie dropped on me out of any of the emails. We have disrupted our viewers enough. Jamie, Jamie, I'm, this is gonna hurt to hear. And remember, we agreed, you don't like liars. We like comedy. We don't like liars. Jamie, I hate to be the guy who says this, but you don't have any viewers. Do you remember, Jamie, how many views your videos had before I talked about y'all? When I reviewed your channel, that video had two views. And I think that was me. Oh my God, God damn bitch. I'm, it's, what are you talking about? The Angelic Initiative, episode 1008, two views. Oh, well maybe, well, okay. 13 views, 20, now listen, I'm not shitting on a small channel to shit on, okay? She's gonna sit here and she's gonna say her, their viewers are disrupted enough. Bitch, what viewers? Who? I'm attaching the third, they just keep sending us, they're like, here's the next video we're gonna post. Now here's where, again, we're just trying to explain it and it feels like we're talking to a wall. Our original posting date was sent for May 12th, but due to my injury, it was necessary to extend the date. A very reasonable request. We have all the requested footage ready to send. However, see, here's where we, we didn't want to give it to them. We knew they were going to post anyway. So fuck them. Why would they get our really, really good footage? Jamie, why would we do that? Here's the ultimatum. Okay. I said, also, if your video is released first, this will greatly change the direction of my final edit. You're looking at it, boys. None of this was in the final edit. You think I was gonna do all this shit? Nope. There wasn't even gonna be any additional commentary like this. Whoever's running the show over there, you fucked up. <sighs> Jamie, clap back. This is between Dennis and Archangel Gabriel. It has nothing to do with us. It's like they're just not reading the emails. Karma is real and the poltergeist still know how to find Dennis. Jamie, is that a threat? Jamie, I swear to God, is that a fucking threat? That's not very Christian of you. I don't even need to say anything. That just makes you look kind of stupid. Since we left, we've come to enjoy Wubby less. His team has been incredibly rude. We're trying to overlook it because they're so young and probably just <laughs> don't know the standards of business conduct. We are reasonably sure their mothers would not approve of their behavior. I don't know, I feel like low-key threatening somebody is, is is pretty rude and not very business of you, uh, Jamie. Although I would know your mother approves of what you're doing because she's had you brainwashed for many years now. We no longer re recommend having any dealings with Wubby or his team. Well, the same goes for you, bitch. The thing is, is this kind of bullshit right here that you see, this is super inappropriate business conduct. Did I do this? No, I'm standing here now, not only defending myself and my image, but my team, you're gonna just go public with this bullshit with nothing to back it up? Well then yeah, I'm gonna clap back. You really, really brought piss to a shit fight. Why would you do this to yourself? His team has been incredibly rude. Well, this is all the correspondence, by the way, between my team and her. I have all of it here. Uh, and the only person I see being rude here is Jamie. Uh, being firm is not being rude. If Dennis wants to post first, he has plenty of time. Really, you know how long this shit takes. That's interesting. <clears throat> Two views. I don't know if I could have made it any more clear what we're gonna do if you don't give us a week. You really caught up on this lying here and the only thing I see here is you lying about our team being incredibly rude. The first Wubby video is what's currently scheduled to the post. Another complicating factor is that we're at the end of, <laughs> this is funny, we're at the end of season five and the start of season six. They have seasons. They have fucking seasons to this shit. I remember when I first got out of school, I didn't know yet how to handle business communication. I'm not upset with you. His team has been incredibly rude. But now moving forward, th there you have it guys. That's the drama. Like I said, I'll be releasing the emails for y'all to read. So I have edited footage now from a couple of sessions they haven't released and that shit's still good. You guys like this shit? Look at that. That's true fucking wubby body mind. That's true, baby. That shit's so good. Go check that out at fucking Meta Threads, boys. New merch is available right now.
You can probably tell this is actually a new day of filming here. And before we actually get into the, the footage from the interview, I, I made a discovery and I kind of, I felt like it was important enough to talk about. I was just looking stuff up about the Angelic Initiative. And when I did, I stumbled upon Jamie's old Twitter and her old YouTube. She still uses this Twitter, but she, of course now she uses it exclusively for angelic shit. But if you go back, you get these tweets and, and the scary thing is just a few years ago, Jamie was completely normal. My Halloween costume is a tired girl. This is less than five years ago. Ellen DeGeneres dresses like a young man. I hope my future daughter marries. My body is ready for you, Nick Offerman. Why do I, she retweeted Gilbert Godfrey's joke about ejaculating penises. The bitch was funny. I'm actually worried for Jamie now. Jamie was normal and now you, you, you can't even have a conversation with her. I don't know what's actually going on behind the scenes, but from an outsider, purely speculating, her mom is, is controlling her. And I think, and, <clears throat> and I'm worried for her. This is from her old YouTube. Look at this. I bet you won't even recognize her. <laughs> She's just normal. Just a normal kid. What happened, Jamie? What happened? How do we get the old Jamie back? It's sad. It's actually sad. I never thought I'd say it, but I really do feel bad for her. This, these are her favorites from her, her YouTube. She used to watch Bo Burnham. All the same garbage we used to watch. Hashtag save Jamie, dude. The fuck. Six, this is from six years ago. Dear God, if you, if, if you exist, please send another hurricane, take my youth, but please don't let Disney make more Star Wars movies. She used, she was funny. Lynn's doing something. Lynn, you know, I don't know what's going on. Jamie was a normal young college girl with with a bright future and 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 that was taken from her <laughs> hashtag save jamie i can't say anymore all right never mind let's roll the video lynn that makes it look like you have a very strange uh oh penis. no 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 yeah, no, no 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 what'd you say no, what? no. <laughs> she was holding her recorder in a really goofy way. We yeah. have, it's a no, very no, long no. story. Very, very, very strange penis. Story. Is that what yeah. I just said? Yeah. Lynn got that dick. <laughs> exactly. Um, thank you so much. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Not in the traditional sense. We are good. So whenever you guys are ready, take it away. Right. Spirit collectives. And that's where the disconnect has been happening in this society. That's true. And that's why we're making a lot of mistakes. Wubby uh, participated in an experiment that was being run by the Archangel Gabriel and uh, probably didn't know he was participating. Probably didn't know. Did you know that? No, I don't even know what that means. I, I think it's Gabriel. Yeah, I actually that's, do. It's Gabriel and he's... Uh, Known as the Archangel Gabriel in a lot Archangel of different Gabriel. wisdom traditions. So he found some guy who was reasonably psychic who he could get through to yeah. and uh, just you know just kind of pulled your string and you you did what he wanted and which is good which is good which is good which is good that's a yeah. good thing good. that's actually very that's good. a good thing good for you i'm reasonably psychic yeah you're reasonably yeah. psychic you would have to learn the skill but you've got it's like somebody who's got good balance and they can become a gymnast exactly you know you know people uh say that her eyes uh, oh they talk about my eyes bulge. she widens her eyes and what they're doing is they're they're having such a hard time the big guys upstairs the big guys upstairs are having a hard time seeing into the world and so sometimes they say basically you've got your eyes closed open your open eyes. your eyes bigger open your eyes bigger and well, it's not like i can hear those words in my head but the i'm not feeling is, like that but you get the feeling, feeling up and now open your eyes bigger uh, so here's the deal humanity has already murdered more than 50% of all other life on earth this is scientific consensus we're not making up these numbers no that's not woohoo it's happening now it's happening now it's happening now we've got to change and there was some question what hobbies do you have <gasps> hobbies <laughs> hobbies we're trying to keep humanity from destroying all life on earth the time for hobbies was so long ago that time has come and gone so long ago so to answer that question no we don't have hobbies gabriel's still around though. gabriel's still Rock around on. so don't so this yeah. is a good time okay yeah. what is a karmic record hard to emphasize strongly enough to get the fullness of the disagreement but they're trying to come to a unanimous consensus and so they're letting him kind of like hang himself is what somebody's <laughs> saying what hang saying. himself he's got some statistician who has spoken on film before oh, that's true. I remember. 
in denser dimensions such as this one in which we're having this uh, gathering. But psychic people on planet Earth sometimes have awareness of and are able to access parts of. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm listening to Archangel Gabriel. Yeah, because he's still talking. He looks super yeah. embarrassed. Yeah, right he's now. super embarrassed. Oh no! Did we do something wrong? I no, I don't think so. And so all those angels who Gabriel was such a jerk to, are now uh, enjoying his uh, moment of discomfort. Yes. Go back to the karmic records. It really would be more effective to just try to build a better karmic record. Do you feel that your question was answered? I do. I do. In, in your cool and uncool trees video, you said people are crazy and don't ask the right questions. They don't want to ask the right questions, so they ask wrong questions and therefore get crazy answers. That's true. I want to know what are the right questions. The questions we ask and who we ask them of determine the choices that we make. What am I going to have for lunch? Uh, what am I going to do tomorrow? And to instead ask, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? What am I supposed to do? gets us thinking about doing the right thing. And that's why we kind of live at some as much of a distance from society as we're able to keep and uh, do the work that we're supposed to do. Back in 2009, I had a good friend who was dying and she was going through chemo and her hair was falling out. So we shaved our heads together. Actually, her husband shaved our heads in his laundry room, you know, <laughs> and uh, we were both bald for six months until she died. It's not Peter dying or Vicky dying or Carmen dying because they're already dead. It's not Alan dying, he's dead. But the planet is dying and it really is. It really is and it's happening now. And you seem to be having a hard time keeping your focus on it. You seem to be pretending that you can just keep on doing what you're doing. So maybe it would help if you shave your head again. And also people, you know, I don't know if you know this, but they do not react well to women with, with shaved heads. It doesn't go well. And so there's always that Short-haired hotties. And we were supposed to awaken people through teaching energy healing. But it doesn't work. People don't want to awaken. Why not? Why don't you think? Oppositional defiant disorder. I think attitudes are contagious and, and it's I think it's in the, the cells. It's in the grass and the trees and the rocks. It's in everything. And so now what are we supposed to do? If I were, usually if you say, if I were going to die t tomorrow, what would I do? What I would do is eat ice cream, you know? So right? that's not a really good Cookies. Question. What we're doing, what we're doing is actually really simple because we've had years and years of training. And so what we do is hold the energy portal, stretch it through the clouds of the dead people, get our kind of like a tube, like an access tube, up out of the clouds as high as we can reach. Then we just do whatever they say to do, unless it sounds like that's a crazy idea. Something's dangerous. dangerous. Have they asked you to do dangerous things? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like and what? Sometimes they will say uh, something that they don't know is dangerous because <laughs> they want us to accomplish some goal, and we, we have to say, uh, that, that's really dangerous. And then they'll say, oh, well, don't do that. He's talking about oh, poltergeist. poltergeist. He's talking about poltergeist. So the, uh, they're corrupt as corrupt can be. And then they do send in the poltergeist, and the poltergeist will knock things off high shelves, uh, and they will throw oh, they stuff at us, and the branch breaks right there. Cut and, the power. And then we learn how to just, like, find the one who's skulking away. There. There he is. It. Right there, the skulker. Yes. There was this morning we had someone. The dismembered rabbit? Oh, you, you did kind of oh, blow the story, Sorry, didn't never you? mind. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, what they were talking about upstairs was there was this morning 
we had someone coming to the house. Some repair guy because the poltergeist guy, had broken They break something. so much break stuff. Nice and stuff. now we've learned to do a lot of repairs ourselves. Yeah. But back then we weren't so handy. And there's a repair guy coming and we were both around the back of the house doing some yard work and the guy comes around looking kind of shaken. And then we walk around with him and there's a half a dead <laughs> rabbit lying in the yard. And he said, do you, do you have cats? you have cats? And we said, no. no. He said, okay, so you have dogs. No, nope, they're all dead. <laughs> he said, no, they're dead. all dead. Uh, we don't we don't have them at the time baxter wasn't living with us yeah. right. and he said so how to get here poltergeist <laughs> absolutely we not, yeah we turned okay, the minutes so then we can minutes just go into interview mode because we're just because there's no more qu what to my audience watching they they a lot of people will probably think this is just hooey is there anything that they want to say to my audience while, while we still have them here. We're not trying to convince you of anything. Go live your life, you know, try to become better people. If, uh, if you don't want to become a better person, then do you want to think about what that says about you? I don't hear anything else. Really, friends, if you don't think that this is true, then why don't you find something else to do with your time? A lot of other videos to watch. Go, go do something else, I'm serious. It's okay. It's okay. This is a way to connect with God. If you don't want to do it, that's okay. Right. Off you go. Shoot. Don't leave just yet, though. <laughs> <laughs> More questions coming up. Poor <laughs> Rebby holding his subscriber talisman. Oh, God, don't go. Wait. Stay. Yeah, that's Stay. Fine. That's this. Different goals here. That's true. <laughs> That was great. It is what they said, but also that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Webby, sweating. Now you can ask whatever you want. Nice. And don't worry about, you know, don't have to worry about being respectful because there, what? it's, I don't know, there's somebody's yeah, listening. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, ho okay, hold up. You know, if anybody gets disrespectful when we've got them on the line, right. get out, we're done. Right. Exactly. But now, but they're not on the line anymore, they're, right? We're I don't now? think, not officially. We haven't requested them. They are presumably listening in because there's this feeling that you get. Right, they're 100% They're still listening here. in, they're watching. So just this is just for stuff to like help my audience get to know you guys a little bit better. Um, so how old are you two, if you want to answer? I'll be 61 <laughs> in two months. Yeah, no. that's right. Happy almost birthday. Happy almost. Uh, I'm 27 and a half. How did you guys get involved in spiritual healing? My brother died. In 1990, January 17th, 1990, he had had already a death and they sh jolted his heart and brought him back. So we were wrong as it turns out. We don't just die when the bodies die because it's definitely watching. And to clarify, we come from a really scientific family, a very medicine-based family. Like doctors? Uh, doctors my dad's a surgeon. My sister taught in a medical school. She's written a textbook on the cerebellum. My other sister is oh, an wow. ICU nurse. Blah, blah, blah. My mom's a mass mathematician. She charted rocket trajectories from NASA. Her the double major was in chemistry. Chemistry, accounting, wow. you yeah. know. So three weeks after he died, I was taking the <laughs> junk mail to put it in the recycle bin in the laundry. Looked out the window and he was standing outside the window <laughs> and uh, he had played practical jokes on me all his life and so this is like a really good one you know he had me scared the bejeebies out of me and I nothing like coming back from the grave yeah your sister. got him <laughs> he died in tax season and she was a, I was CPA. a CPA as a partner in a CPA partner in a CPA firm so he would come and he would sit in the passenger seat in my car and how I would know, I'd just be driving and then like all the hair on my arms, and the hair on that side of the body would just start standing up. It's like, wow, Whoa. he's here. He was such a unique person. So there was just, that had to be him. It wasn't anybody else. And then one day he was, oh, he said, you're just missing it. You're missing the whole thing. And he, and he turned sideways and disappeared, which you can do when you're dead. And then I had just been paying attention to him. And when he turned sideways and disappeared, I paid attention to what else was there. It's like, oh wow, this is a really big place. Holy here. moly. After about two and a half, three and a half years, something like that, they said, okay, you're not doing the work you're supposed to be doing in the world. You're wasting your life. Sell your practice. And so by the time I got out of there, I was really good and sick and I was uh, disabled. Sick for seven years, but only disabled for two. 
nothing worked. Western medicine had nothing to offer. And then I tried these alternative therapies, you know, started to slide into the freaky fringe, you know. You know, when you're, once you're trained in psychic and you know what's going on, it's like, well, you know, that past life snake bite, that is not helping. So first things first, let's get that trauma out of there. Like when you pull a sticky thing and it starts to stretch, right. you know? Is that yeah. something that can be done, like, now? Uh, what do you mean? Would, to demonstrate to my audience, would we be able to pull a trauma strand out We're of me? We're gonna merge with Wubby. What did you say? He just asked if you would pull a trauma strand out of I it. I mean, if, if we're willing, it's up to well, y'all. we can give it a go. Do you have any pain? You have to have pain, tightness, pressure, discomfort. You have to have something. Something going on. Team a symptom. My you jaw. You have TMJ. I he has TMJ. You have TMJ. Are you serious? Is that real? It's real, yeah. Do you want to tell him? We all have TMJ. Psychic. It's, that's <laughs> it's one of the psychic. most common psychic, psychic symptoms. TMJ. What can I say? I'm not what? making it up. This so many of my easy. clients. Can, can you remedy his... TMJ or How's your TMJ that you use? Well, it depends. It depends. We know that this past life trauma is not helping your TMJ. We're going to get this past life trauma out. Will that be all that's necessary to solve the TMJ? I'd be Super surprised, unlikely. but it might help. If you want to get out that trauma that's lodged like right there by the jaw, the only way to actually do it for real would be to merge in with your energy body. And again, we're not she reading your she mind. She's doing it. Oh, me? Mine do. Do, do you guys want to merge in now? Is that's that something what we can do? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to do it without your permission because that's gross. That would be gross. But right. You, it, merging, you have to get consent? Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, that's yeah. gross. Right. Consent that's is hot. Wrong. Jamie, I would be honored for you to merge with me. <laughs> you son <Yo>. of a <laughs> bitch. All right. Did it just happen? Or no? No. no. Oh. No, no. That was a handshake. I see. That was a handshake. That's a handshake. I see. I like this. This is a hole in the ground. <laughs> I have a friend named Mike who I went to college with and we studied abroad together and I liked him a lot and you remind me a lot of him. Yeah. Okay, merging the energy bodies together more deeply, softening my own energy body. There you go, merging in. There we go, those really good guys upstairs who are looking out for Wubby, who really want Wubby to live his destiny, live the life that he was born to live. There we go, and drawing the focus to the front of the heart chakra. So are you aware of the chakra system, something you're comfortable with? Uh, I've seen Naruto. Have, do you know what that is? No, that I know it from that. Awesome. Okay. We're going to start to open up the front of the heart chakra. <clears throat> I'm going to start to open up the front of the heart chakra. Coughing is just a really common reaction to energy starting to move. There we go. You've never had energy work done, have no, you? No, he's never had okay. energy work done. Okay, great. And exhaling out the back. We're just doing a very quick opening process just so there's some current moving. There we go, feeling the guardian angels real close. All right now. Ha. All right now, we're going to start to move back through time energetically. And this is the great part, because it's like we can crank back through all these lives. Whoosh. And then out the top of the head. How are you feeling? Good. Feel okay? Yeah. How's your jaw? Good. How was that for you? Well, this is what it's I do for a, a living, so. Yeah, yeah so yeah. it's not a big. Yeah, but it's I always a rollicking good time. I could do better exactly. next time. Exactly. That's a day at work. Thank you. You didn't see that, that coming, did you? Oh, you never know. Woo. Okay, I don't even know see, how to follow that up. Mm -hmm. Oh, this. So we have a question from my audience. Can yeah. we get to yeah, some yeah, of these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold pretty on, much, let me look at you. Have you guys ever seen the George Lopez show? What is that? No. Okay. Forget about that one. If you had to stay in a one by one box fort for an entire day, what would you one place by this? one, I don't meaning fit. one foot. How small do you think I am? Am one I contortionist? Uh, I, I got a meditation cushion. I'm fine. I'm oh. set. Yeah, just a cushion. Are you single, Jamie? I really don't like to talk about my personal life Fair in enough. interviews, but no. Okay. <laughs> this is again from the audience uh, regarding grass. When you guys speak to grass and trees, how exactly is that working? Who are you speaking to in that sense? Let's make a quick clarification about who's talking. And so we're not talking to grass or trees, unless I'm wrong. Cool. Somebody upstairs is. So up there, so they, through you, talk to 
Yeah. Like a ficus. And the, like the, and to, to that shuffler, and they're saying, come on, friend, are you going to join us in trying to reestablish this upward flow? Are you because talking to this right now? Right that right plant's over there. called a That's a shuffler. And th that is speaking... Right. So somebody's talking to the chevalier and going, heads up, friends, will you join us in reestablishing upper flow? Maybe people like to pretend that we are a lot more important than plants are, and so it's goofy that big guys upstairs would want to talk to a tree, when why wouldn't they want to talk to me, a human? Can a plant be a jerk and not listen? Oh, definitely. Sure, just like you. Not saying you're being a jerk so and not listening. No, no, I there's so that. many studies, uh, scientifically documented studies, on consciousness of plants, and <laughs> people want to argue with consciousness of plants, they sound they Crazy. sound ignorant. D when you guys like mow the lawn, do you feel guilt? Super That's bad. That's a relevant question. Super bad. And we had it mowed yesterday, yesterday. for you guys. Oh, you did and that for us? Yes. Oh, no. And <laughs> Right, and in retrospect, but, and it looks nice. Yes, it, it does. does. It's yeah, very pretty. I mean, it really it's does. It's just it's like not a just graveyard now. It, that well, I think it, about and it. it is. It's like the little toads and the grasshoppers. And one time, this was so heartbreaking. Oh, this was I was so working. Freaky. Uh, my desk faces a window, and we said, all right, we're just really... We got hadn't had a mow in a long, long yeah, time, because it was winter, and the grass it. wasn't really growing. We've got to do it. And so we called them in, and then this, these grasshoppers started flying at my window, and they're saying, stop it, stop it, make them go away. So, like, oh, shit, what am I supposed to do? Now we have these little rock borders around our beds, and the grass grows in the rock borders, and what we would normally do is just spray it with Roundup, but there are things living in there. And we can see that it was wrong to napalm the Vietnamese in their homes, can't we? Right. And so how is that any different? Would you say a toad is <laughs> the same as like napalm in Vietnam? So Poisoning a toad, yeah. how is that different than right. poisoning a person? I'm asking you. Yeah, Isn't I think it's no, no different. We do have shirts and hats for you guys just <laughs> because, you, I mean, you know do what? with I'll them what you them. want. Yeah, I'll thank you. Of course. This is terrible. I, 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 I can't wear a hat. You don't want like this, this one? I can't. It says your sock. It says your sock. You can take it, you can throw um, it away. I will wear it for yard work. And the, yes, <laughs> yes. We, we, no, we actually do a lot of yard work, so that's a good thing, not a bad thing. I mean, this is. Yeah, I love it. Okay, never it's the best <laughs> exercise. Yeah. I love here's, it so here's much. Here's uh, for you, lovely oh, ladies. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, no, no, no. Wubby. Wubby body, body mine. Wubby body so, yeah. mine. Um, I never saw this coming. Dude. No, I did not expect no, right. to have that. How much was this mic? Like, oh, well, like fourteen dollars. Do you think I could have it as a keepsake? Yes, of course. That's my I'll pay session you for it mic. If you'd like. But I can we just get a new one for my. Yeah, I can just get a new one. You know what? You can't. Stop. We're done. We're done. We're done. You want to film an outro? We might. Eight million dollar horse. I work with very, horse. very expensive. They race. Thoroughbred race, race horses. horses. Do they? Career. Do they? Do you they? You know, Kentucky get, Derby. Kentucky Derby. I work with the yeah. Kentucky yeah. Derby. Not horses. to get too personal, but like, do they pay well if you for what you do? Since Seventy dollars is what we charge just for, for a horse, for a horse, a for horse. a forty-five minute Seriously. healing session. Um, oh, that one. Yeah. That's a good hourly rate, I'll tell you. This is the part of the video where I mentioned the sponsor. This video was only made possible by MetaThreads. They sponsored us. Go check out MetaThreads.com. They uh, sell all kinds of merch, streetwear, backpacks. Go check it out. It's fantastic. Again, this video was only possible because of them. Also, while you're there, check out the new Wubby merch line. Alex, get in the goddamn frame. Check out the new Wubby merch line. It's great. Also, guys, make sure you use the code Wubby to get 20% off your order from MetaThreads. This discount code only works for the Meta collections and will be available till the 2nd of June. Uh, anyway, MetaThreads.com. Thanks again, Meta. Everybody, stop what you're doing right now. Go click on the goddamn link below. Part of my language. Sorry. They're looking. Get a shot of them. They're all watching. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Meta threads. Thank you guys. All right. Well, you still recording? Yeah. Well, that, was, <laughs> that was fun. Oh, this is lovely. Here comes Pax. He's like snorting too. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I'm just thinking like some candid shots, you don't have to like <laughs> super pose for these or anything. Uh, don't pose. Uh, okay. <laughs>
Come figure it out. There's no way you can casually <laughs> slip that in. Right, and ours is. Yeah, if you need any of our audio, you Oh, you even noticed it. I like your Crocs. Your guys' shoes. <laughs> They're fabulous. We have chickens and chickens poop. This chair is struggling Thank for my body. Well, I'll get another uh -oh. one. Look, we have so we many. We have, those are sturdy. Don't, these ones look more That's, don't do that. No, <laughs> That's a bad plan. Hi, friends. Jamie McGonagill here. It's Monday, July 28th. And today was an unusual day. Today, we woke up at our usual time. We drove from our temporary assignment living to New York City, where I had been living. It was the first time that we had returned there since we both left our homes. And we went back to get my things so we could bring them here and sell them to let them go. And a few of my dear friends from my old life I contacted to let them know that I would be coming back for just a few hours. And this was the first time that I had told them that I wasn't coming home. <laughs> 